This is the second part of the series of all the Spider-Man costumes as seen in Marvel Comics and films. In this video, we will go over all the Spider-Man costumes not worn by Peter Parker, but by numerous number of other people. The first few costumes are the Scarlet Spider suits, worn by Ben Riley, Joseph Wade, and Felicity Hardy. The first Scarlet suit user is Ben Riley. When Spider-Man's clone, Ben Riley took over as Spider-Man, he created his own version of the classic red and blue costume, extending the spider motif's legs, as well as adding a different design to the boots and gloves. During his career as the Scarlet Spider, he donned a blue sleeveless hoodie with a spider insignia and a completely red bodysuit. He also wore web shooters and a utility belt outside of his costume, as opposed to Peter who wore them underneath. The next Scarlet Spider suit user was Joseph Wade. A man named Joseph Wade was transformed by Carolyn Trainer, an assistant of Dr. Octopus, into a virtual reality due to an accident. He took on the guise of Scarlet Spider 2 and appeared in an all-silver Spider-Man suit with red eyes and a red symbol. The third Scarlet Spider suit user is Felicity Hardy. In the MC2 reality, Felicity Hardy, daughter of the Black Cat, fights crime as the third Scarlet Spider. She uses a costume similar to Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider costume, just with a silver vest. The next costume is the Blood Spider suit. Blood Spider was a copy of Spider-Man created by the Red Skull and Taskmaster. It donned a costume similar to the Black Symbiote costume, but with a webbing storage tank on its back, with loose wires leading to the wrists. The suit was said to have micro suction cups to allow him to cling to walls. The next costume is the Spider-Man 2099 suit. Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man of the year 2099, donned a costume similar to the original Spider-Man's, but with a more skull-like spider and much more blue throughout. The costume was made of an unstable molecule fabric, similar to the costumes of the Fantastic Four, and it also featured a cape made out of a web-like material called Light Bite and a different skull-like mask. This outfit was originally worn during the Day of the Dead Festival. The next costume is the Spider-Man 2211 suit. Max Born is the Spider-Man of the year 2211. His costume had a different color scheme and no webbing marks, but had similar patterns. His mask was a mechanical helmet and had four red mechanical arms, similar to Dr. Octopus's mechanical arms. The next costume is the Ultimate Spider-Man suit, worn by Miles Morales. After officially becoming Spider-Man, S.H.I.E.L.D. gave Miles a new red and black costume because his makeshift costume was considered to be in bad taste. After the death of his mother at the hands of Venom, Miles ripped up his costume, yelling, no more. One year later, Spider-Woman gave him a new suit and a set of web shooters. The next costume is the Ultimate Symbiote Suit. The Symbiote costume has almost an identical appearance to the Earth-616 version. The costume was the result of Richard Parker and Eddie Brock Sr.'s search for a cure for cancer. The last costume is the Superior Spider-Man suit. During Dr. Octopus's seemingly final days, he switched bodies with Peter Parker. In the final battle between the two, Peter Parker supposedly died in Octavius's body. During the battle, Peter showed Otto his experiences and memories as Spider-Man, causing Octavius to vow to become a Superior Spider-Man. Octavius then assumed the identities of both Peter Parker and Spider-Man to make himself a better Spider-Man. Octavius designed a new suit, similar to the original Spider-Man suit, but with some modifications, these being that the blue in the original costume was now replaced with black. The design of the symbol on the back was changed. The web design on the mask, mainly around the nose, was also changed. The design of the belt was spikier. The lenses on the mask were now made of glass and could show a heads-up display. All of the fingers on the gloves had retractable claws on them, and the big toe on both boots is separated from the rest of the foot, and both have retractable talons. He also further modified it, lacing carbon danium in the mask to prevent a mind switch, a built-in communications device to activate nano spider tracers, and creating spider arms on the back as a possible homage to his previous identity. And that's the last Spider-Man costume, so let us know in the comments what other Marvel related videos you want us to make, and upvote the video ideas that you want to see, so we know how many people want to see them. The more likes a comment has, the higher chances it has of being made. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, have a marvelous day.